I'm getting ready to shoot a quickie wing. This is an M817 for Bob Harris's Buckshot Quickie 25 airplane. I've mixed up one pump of West Systems 105 resin and 206 hardener. Just so happens that one pump is just enough to coat one wing skin. I'm using a seven inch roller that's been roller cover that's been cut in half on a three inch roller frame. Simply roll out the epoxy. Okay, I've completely rolled out the epoxy on the wing skin. It's a very, very thin layer. But you can probably see that the color of the wood has changed slightly. And what I'm going to do now is put some 0.6 ounce fiberglass cloth on the wing skin. I use it entirely between the foam and the balsa. If you use too much epoxy on the wing skin, it actually makes putting the fiberglass down harder. Makes it tougher to move it around and get it rolled down. Because instead of using a brush to put it down, I'm going to use a roller. It's not critical back here on the trailing edge because I'm going to put another layer of cloth on the trailing edge. It's 1.4 ounce because it gives a stiffer trailing edge. So I'll start on this end, rolling the cloth out. It takes a little technique to get used to this to keep from getting a lot of wrinkles and bubbles in the cloth. But you just work your way from one end to the other. Okay, I've got the cloth down on this skin. I've got cloth that I'm going to put on the trailing edge. But, I'm going to go ahead and do the other skin to this step first before I put the cloth on the trailing edge. The epoxy only has a 20 minute pop life, but the thin film working time is well over two hours. So that means I have well over two hours to complete this at this point. And um, I'm going to use three pumps of epoxy total. And since it takes one for getting the this, this skin wet and to get the cloth down, I want to go ahead and get the cloth down on the other skin and then I'll deal with the trailing edge and the uh, carbon fiber laminate. So I'm going to turn the camera off and do the other skin and I'll come back when I start 
the next phase. Now I have two skins that have 0.6 ounce cloth on them and I'm going to put the trailing edge piece on. This stiffens up the L-runs and makes the whole trailing edge a lot stiffer. Adds a little bit of weight, but in my opinion it's wor well worth it. So unless somebody requests that I not do it, that's how I'll do it. Try to use as little epoxy as possible because this heavier cloth will soak it up. Kind of dab some on. and work it with the roller. You have to be careful because the roller can grab the edges of the cloth and pull it off. So that's one reason I use a three and a half inch wide roller cover and the cloth is only two and a half inches wide. So I can do this without it grabbing the edges. And just grab a couple of threads here. So I have to work it a different way. Okay, I have the trailing edge cloth down. Next thing I'm going to do is put the carbon fiber on. You probably can barely see that I have marked lines here and here so I know where my carbon fiber is going. These are just reference lines for the trailing edge. But I put marks on the skin so I know where the carbon fiber is going because I like to put a little extra epoxy, just a little bit, where the carbon fiber is going. I know there's already some from the from the claw. I want to make sure I get a good bond on this carbon fiber strip because that bond to the wood is really important for the strength of this wing skin. I don't really have to worry about pressing it down because when it gets under the vacuum it's really going to get pressed down. And I go ahead and put the glue on now because I don't want to forget. Later and use a sparing amount because you're just gluing it to the foam. And it doesn't take much at all to glue it to the foam. So this skin is ready, and I'm going to move it out of the way.